How to add digital products to Shopify. Well, that's what I'm going to show you guys in a super quick and easy tutorial. So if this video helped you out, please let me know in the comments and also leave a like so I actually know that this video helped you out as well. So let's get started right away because it's actually super easy by going to products over here, we can add um, our product. Now here I actually have a physical product, which is just a t-shirt. But what I'm going to show you guys, of course, is how to add digital products. So by doing that, you have to click on add a product over here. And what I'm just simply going to do is um, choose an ebook, for example. Now, obviously, we need to add a title over here. So this is going to be the title for now. Here we need to add a description. So I just went ahead and um, copied and pasted the uh, definition of a, or what actually is an ebook. Since I do not have an actual ebook, I don't have an actual description either. But just to show you guys how it will later look like. So um, yeah, here we can also add links, uh, images or videos, but we can also add our images over here in the media section as well, of course. So what I'm going to just do is upload this quick image of an ebook. Um, once again, I do not have an actual ebook, so I just chose this picture. Now here on the right for the product organization, we can add it to the category, product type, vendor collections, and tags as well. So that's quite nice. Here, obviously, we need to add a, um, a price. So I just added this as a price. We can also track the quantity. Um, actually, with a digital product, you probably do not have a quantity, but you can still do that if you would like to. And then here for the most important part, the shipping part, it says this is a physical product, so you have to enter the weight, but you have to uncheck this since it is a digital product, of course. And like it says over here, customers won't enter shipping details at checkout. Um, so that's exactly what we want. And then here, um, yeah, we're going to click on save. So now when we go to preview, this is how the ebook would look like. But there is one more thing because we have not added yet our actual ebook as a download for um, our product over here. So when, when once people buy this, they won't receive anything because we haven't added uh, our digital product anywhere as an actual download. Now, how can we actually do that? Well, you want to go to your home page and then to add apps over here. Here we need to go to the Shopify app store. And once this loads up, we need to search for a digital download. If you need Shopify, but you're not sure yet, or you're already enjoying Shopify, or you know somebody that needs Shopify, and what you can do is bring your ideas to life for one euro per month. So what you can do is go to the link in the description or the pinned comment under this YouTube video and sign up for a free trial and join your first month for one euro. So grab the deal now before it is gone and yeah good luck with your store so here you have a bunch of different apps which pretty much do all the same but as you can see most of them have a free plan but the free plan is quite different for most of them i like uh file flare um the most because if you go to the free plan you have 20 megabytes of storage and then also unlimited orders which is quite nice so for the ebook 20 megabytes should be more than enough but if you sell anything which is a lot, you have to check out some other apps or go with a uh, monthly subscription. So I'm going to simply click on install right over here. And this will bring you over to this page. Now you have to click on install again. Once you click on install, you will get this pop up. But you simply can scroll down and click on continue with free plan. Once you are in this page, we can actually upload the new files. So what I'm going to do is simply click on upload and here we can upload the files or add a URL asset as well. So simply just click on here or drag and drop your file on here and then it will be added over here. As you can see, these are all the files which I have currently added. Then if you go back to the home page, we can see attach your assets to products. So I'm going to click on there and this will bring you over to the page where they will show every single product you have on your store. Now, obviously, I'm going to click on the ebook 
And here we can scroll through all of the assets. I'm going to select this one over here and simply click on attach. Now we have attached this asset to our product and we can once again go back to the home page. Here it says customize your settings. So if you click on here, we can see all of these settings. Here we can see the asset download limit. Currently it's set to five, but you can also set this to um, unlimited. So I believe if you just put it to zero or can I type? Yeah, if you type in any letter, it will just automatically go to unlimited. So you can click on save or if you click on here, you can set it to, for example, five or something. That's something I usually like. You can import all previous order if you have um, store history. But um, you can also go to the checkout settings. Here we can see the download delivery method. So the download button and page or the download link bullet point list. This is something that is up to you. Whatever you would like to, you can change the download button text, download box title as well and as well as a description. And here we have some additional settings which you can change. And um, all of these other settings are pretty much for a, uh, if you have a paid plan, because you can also edit the email template, but as you can see, you need to have a, an actual plan for that. But um, that is pretty much it. So now I can just go to the online store. And here is the product. And this is pretty much how it will look like. Then people can buy it now and they will get an email or they will get a, a download button at the end of their uh, order. And they can download the uh, the ebook in this case. So that is how to add digital products to Shopify.